Hi, I'm Joshua Hamlin in downtown Philadelphia, just a few blocks from Independence Hall and several other significant historical sites, and behind me is the Museum of the American Revolution. This museum seeks to lay out the history of the American Revolution from its very beginning to its very end. And so it lays out the, the causes of the revolution and things like taxation and other issues going on in the colonies. Then it covers all through the main war and the main campaigns of the war from Lexington and Concord all the way to the Battle of Yorktown and the eventual conclusion of the war. And then it goes into some of the things that happened following the war and some of the consequences of decisions made regarding cons the Constitution and other political decisions made. It really hits a lot on some of the larger historical trends that have been happening now as far as focusing on some of the lesser known aspects of the war, such as the role that women played and African Americans and some of the Native American allies of both the British and American forces. We must honor our word and stand together with the United States to defend our lands. How can the colonists defeat the British? The king has more ships and soldiers than there are birds in the sky. When the war began, I went to Boston to meet General Washington and to see his army. It is true that they do not seem as numerous as the Redcoats, but there is no stronger warrior than one who defends his land, his family, and his honor. Great use of technology, which is really great. There's several different theaters throughout the museum. Uh, when it talks about uh, George Washington's war tent, which is one of the main pieces in the museum, it has a great movie that goes along with that and explains the history of the war tent. So technology is used really well here to lay out the history of the Revolutionary War and the ramifications that came about because of that. If you're interested in visiting, like I mentioned, it's right in downtown Philadelphia. It's very easy to get to and it's $19 for an adult. So it is rather expensive compared to a lot of museums, but it's well worth it because it lays out so much great history and you'll have a great understanding of the war and the, the larger uh, ramifications of that once you visit here. Thanks for watching.